1-800-400-8380. WEMP, WEMP HD1, New York. FM News 101.9. All news, all day. Ten minutes of nonstop news starts now. Good Friday morning. It's 9 o'clock. I'm Alice Stockton Rossini. Here's the countdown. Five. Rick Perry pokes fun at himself in Dave's top ten. Four. Rockefeller Center Christmas tree going up. Three. Still nothing from the kidnappers of a missing baseball player in Venezuela. Two. Veterans Day. There's parades. There's ceremonies. There's kisses for the troops. One. The mother of a victim in the Sten Penn State scandal. Speaking out in the traffic center. Into town, no delay at the Holland Tunnel or GW Bridge, but it's 30 minutes at the Lincoln Tunnel. I'm Jeff McKay with traffic and weather coming up on the 5. 43 degrees and sunny going up to 52 in Midtown. Your complete forecast coming up, but first. The mother of victim one is speaking out. Years of suffering now being brought to light. The mother in this Good Morning America interview, which hides her identity, says her son lived in fear. She began to catch on that something was up when he started acting out violently. She went straight to the school for help, but the boy wouldn't speak about it. I went to the school counselors and, you know, and it was basically, they said a puberty thing. Sandusky had access to the high school the victim attended and many others, for that matter, through his charity Helping Troubled Boys. It it wasn't until some time later she learned Sandusky was holding private meetings and pulling the boy out of class. I called the school and expressed my concerns. I told them to pull my son down to the guidance office and talk to him, and they did. At that point, they called me telling me that it was very important that I get there immediately, which at that point I already had suspicion, so I kind of knew what it was about. Sandusky faces dozens of counts of molestation for eight boys, but this mother thinks that number is just the tipping point. Brianna Venosi. State college cops looking at video and pictures from Wednesday night's riots and promise there will be arrests. Dozens of them. Over 5,000 students took to the street through rocks and bottles, pulled down light posts, flipped a van. Following word, Joe Paterno was hired as head football coach. It's not the only thing Paterno lost. Pennsylvania senators rescinding their support for Paterno's nomination for a Presidential Medal of Freedom. Tomorrow, the Nittany Lions take on Nebraska without their revered leader and now without assistant coach. Mike McQuarrie, multiple death threats have been made against him since news. He was the one who told Coach Paterno back in 2002 that he saw Jerry Sandusky sodomize a 10-year-old in a locker room shower. Many are angry. He still has a job. At Beaver Stadium, Nittany Lions fans rallying in support of Sandusky's victims. Known for whiteouts to turn the stadium into a sea of white, fans are asking everyone to wear blue tomorrow to support the victims of child abuse worldwide. You are listening to 10 minutes of nonstop news. It's 9.03. Fighting soldiers from the sky. Today's Veteran Day ceremony is kicking off at 10 a.m., beginning with a wreath laying ceremony at the Eternal Flame Madison Square Park. Parade starts at 11, goes up Fifth Avenue from 23rd. Participants include active service members, veterans groups, six Medal of Honor recipients, high school bands, 25,000 to participate, making it the largest Veterans Day parade in history. And on Times Square, it's a unique way to remember the troops on Veterans Day. Here at Military Island at Times Square, Cosmo, Maybelline, and the USO collecting literal kisses on postcards for the troops. The first kiss was from Pretty Little Liars actress Lucy Hale. I mean, it's amazing. It's a, a really clever idea, and I think it gets people excited to help out and sort of show their appreciation. And for every kiss collected, they'll donate a buck to the USO. The soldiers that have been overseas, like Marine Corporal Zach Quadlin, says getting those personal touches in the care packages is priceless. Well, especially when we were in Afghanistan, we had, you know, no running water, no electricity, no nothing. So anytime you got mail, it was always a huge deal. Just knowing that people back home care about you, you know, it always makes you feel really good. They're here collecting kisses until three today, and you can also do it online through Cosmo's website. Michelle Morello, FM News. In sports, the Raiders beat the San Diego Chargers 24-17. Still no nothing happening in the NBA talks. And Islanders lost to Colorado 4-3 in overtime. It's 9.05. 
FM News 101.9, traffic and weather on the fives. How about this? The Holland Tunnel, no delays into town. The GW Bridge, no delays into town. But note the Lincoln Tunnel. Lincoln Tunnel still about a 25 to 30 minute delay on the way to New York. We had a stalled car earlier on, but the damage is here is done. Even the express bus lane is a mess going into New York City. Getting out of town, also about a 10 to day at the Lincoln Tunnel. We had a stalled car on the Jersey side, off to the far right side. So remember, it's the Holland Tunnel or GW Bridge for you. Better than normal, Staten Island Expressway. Better than normal through Queens on the LIU, the Grand Central. A little bit slow on the belt going west by Kennedy Airport. And in New Jersey, 280 West, exit 12 in East Orange. You've got a crash, police on scene. Also, watch out for uh, slow traffic on 80 East by exit 37 in Rockaway. You've got a wreck as well. And again, state police dealing with it. This report is service of GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% on car insurance. You call GEICO, 1-800-947-AUTO, or go to GEICO.com. Alternate side parking suspended today. You will need to feed the meters. Jeff McKay, FM News 101.9. Traffic on the 5. FM News 101.9. Weather on the 5s today will feature sunshine and clouds, but also it's going to be very breezy. The winds will be gusting over 25 miles an hour out of the northwest, so a temperature of 53 will feel more like 43. Then tonight, the wind relaxes the most of clear sky, low around 38, and for Saturday, even Sunday, both days will feature lots of sunshine. We'll be warmer. High of 60 on Saturday, close to 65 on Sunday, then back to work and school on Monday. We have a rain chance in the afternoon with temperatures still mild into the 60s. Right now, it's 43 in Central Park, 46 in Astoria. I'm meteorologist Scott Derrick, your weather geek. This is traffic and weather on the fives from FM News 101.9. Your next report's at 915. 10 minutes of nonstop news continues now on FM News 101.9. The Rockefeller Center Christmas tree is here. The Rockefeller Center Christmas tree is here. It's getting hoisted into place this morning in front of the 30 Rock building. The 74-foot Norway spruce traveled all the way from Mifflinville, Pennsylvania. It's going to be lit in a star-studded ceremony November 30th. Okay, so does this make you feel all Christmassy all over? Or are you just going, oh my God, enough already. Holloway decorations, they just going up way too soon. We want to know. Take our poll on fmnewsnewyork.com. Does this put you in the holiday spirit or is it just too much too soon? Take our poll. fmnewsnewyork.com. It's 907. Washington Nationals fans are stunned by the kidnapping of rookie Nats player Wilson Ramos. It's shocking that that, you know, happens to a professional athlete. It's just horrible. Um, I just it's terrifying and I hope he gets home safely. Still no word from his abductor since Ramos was kidnapped at his home in Venezuela. Wednesday night, there has been an issue with kidnappers abducting sports figures, but certainly not one this well-known. U.S. State Department says it's on the case. For the first time since Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords was shot in the head, she talks about her heroic nine-month battle with Diane Sawyer. How do you feel? Pretty good. Is it painful? Is it hard? No, it's difficult. Giffords had a 1 in 10 chance of surviving that shooting, and she's come farther than anyone could have imagined. Giffords, with the help of her husband, has written a book. It's called Gabby, A Story of Courage and Hope. A shooting rocks an Occupy Wall Street camp in Burlington, Vermont. Police believe a 35-year-old military vet shot himself inside a tent in City Hall Park. Protesters say he was the victim of inadequate mental health services offered to vets. In Oakland, street violence enters the Occupy Oakland camp. One man was shot and wounded. Protesters say they did not know him. Over to Harvard Yard. The Occupy movement going Ivy League. Sandra Korn says her fellow students may be in the top 10 1% 1% academically, but not economically. We thought that um, kind of bringing the occupation to Harvard Yard would send a pretty powerful statement to Harvard and the country that Harvard students care about the corporatization of Harvard education. All right. Tents have gone up in the gated yard where several hundred protesters were locked out because um, they didn't have their student IDs. And finally... Expected to perform at an Occupy Wall Street demonstration today in Foley Park to coincide with Veterans Day. Civil rights lawyer Norm Siegel, who helped protesters get permits for today's rally, says having Baez there, a social activist for decades, brings the civil rights movement, the women's movement, the peace movement, and the Occupy Wall Street movement all together. And at Spider-Man, turn off the dark. Another actor is injured. James Thomas, who plays the lead Peter Parker in the matinee performances, was injured backstage on Wednesday as he was getting ready to do a scene. Not sure exactly what happened, but he needed stitches. The matinee started 10 minutes late. It's a twofer. 
Earlier this week, the show's ex-director, Julie Tamar, filed a lawsuit against producers who fired her in March. That's when it seemed like not a day went by that an actor wasn't getting injured. There were nothing but bad reviews and artistic differences. Rick Perry, he's been criticized for having too much energy. Now, he's being chastised for forgetting the word energy. It happened during this week's debate. Now he is in full-scale political rehab. Here to present tonight's top ten list, top ten Rick Perry excuses. Ladies and gentlemen. GOP presidential contender Rick Perry had nothing more to do but have fun with his embarrassing flub during Wednesday night's debate when he couldn't remember the third government agency he would get rid of. So why not appear on David Letterman? Here's top ten excuse number six. Hey, listen, you try concentrating with Mitt Romney smiling at you, that is one handsome dude. <laughs> and number one. I just learned Justin Bieber is my father. Thanks to Worldwide Pants. Larry Jacobs, ABC News. Got a news tip? Email us at news at fmnewsnewyork.com. I had just been to the garden center. You know, they had a sale on perennials and shrubs. And being the super mom I am, I still made it to my son's football game. They won. Yeah, we all cheered. And I offered up ice cream. And we all cheered again. And then I realized what I did. The entire defensive line crammed into my Subaru Forester. Pads and all. Between the hydrangeas, snapdragons, and prayer grasses. Oh my gosh, it was like a football garden on wheels. But I had the room. And yes, we all had the celebratory ice cream. I also suggested a celebratory car wash, but nobody cheered for that. With symmetrical all-wheel drive, named a 2011 IIHS top safety pick, and starting at only 21,540, the Subaru Forester has the right size to versatility. Because love is more than the vehicle. It's all the things you can do with it. Find yours at Subaru.com. Call 800-1-AWD for details. You see and hear ad after ad about owning gold, but they raise more questions than they answer. That's why American Bullion has created a comprehensive free gold guide packed with unbiased information about gold as an investment. Get the facts before you buy. Call American Bullion now for your free copy of the gold guide at 800-545-2525. That's 800-545-2525. Are you tired of stressing out about the economy and ready to take control of your retirement funds? American Bullion has a precise, tax-free, and hassle-free system to convert your existing IRA or former 401k into a gold IRA. That's why they're the leader in gold IRA rollovers. It's all spelled out in the free American Bullion Gold Guide that answers all of your questions in plain and simple English. Call for your free copy today at 800-545-2525. That's 800-545-2525. American Bullion. 800-545-2525. It's 9.13. Ten minutes of nonstop news, three times an hour. Zero, zero, 20, and 40. Plus traffic and weather every ten minutes on the fives. 43 degrees and sunny, going up to 52 in Midtown. The mother of an Ohio teen with special needs had her daughter wear a wire to secretly record some... Pretty mean comments from a classroom aide. On the four days of tapes from the spring, aide Kelly Chaffins can be heard telling the girl she's dumb, she's a liar. It's no wonder she doesn't have any friends. The school settled a lawsuit. Chaffins has since resigned. The classroom teacher's on maternity leave. She agreed to take training on bullying and recognizing child abuse. The second-to-last Twilight movie premieres Monday in L.A., but guess what? Fans are already camping out. Sivan came all the way from Israel. She says the Twilight books mean everything to her. <laughs> it sounds so pathetic, but it's so perfect, really. It's, it's the dream of every girl, I think. <laughs> the last Twilight movie, Eclipse, made over $30 million in its opening. Hey, let's talk about America's Got Talent. How about Howard Stern? The king of all media said to be in serious negotiations to become a judge on the show. He would sit with Sharon Osbourne and Howie Mandel, frequent guests on his serious radio show. Word is there's a $15 million deal in the works. It's one of the most popular TV shows and would no doubt get a little snarky boost. Second only to Simon Cowell on The X Factor if the deal goes through. Stern would replace Piers Morgan, who's decided to leave the show to focus on on his CNN show, Piers Morgan Tonight. Fear not, serious fans. Howard will still continue to do his morning show as often as he does it now. It's 9.15.
FM News 101.9, traffic and weather on the funds. A lot of traffic on 5th Avenue. Of course, 5th Avenue is where the Veterans Day Parade is going to be. You've got uh, bumper-to-bumper traffic right now coming down the 50s in toward 42nd Street. Also seeing a little bit of traffic down through 23rd as well. But it uh, looks like uh, below that, they're going to start uh, closing down 5th Avenue. And, of course, 5th Avenue will be shut between 23rd and 56th Street when the parade starts in less than two hours. Make your way across the Hudson, the GW Bridge, the Holland Tunnel. Both are all right. It's the Lincoln Tunnel. That still backs up about 30 minutes into New York and about 10 to 15 minutes getting out of town. It was stalled cars that gummed up the works at the Lincoln Tunnel earlier on. Better the normal ride through Queens on the LIE in the Grand Central. Better the normal ride through the Bronx on the Cross Bronx and Bruckner, too. This report, service of the Empire State Building. Visit the Empire State Building. Discover new perspectives of the city from the world-famous observatories. Both observatories open till 2 a.m. Avoid the crowds. Visit at night. See the real magic of New York and buy your tickets today at ESB. NYC.com. Just got in troubles on the tracks at Bowling Green. There are signal problems, so delays on the fours and fives. I'm Jeff McKay, FM News 101.9, traffic on the fives. FM News 101.9, weather on the fives. Lots of sunshine today. There will be some clouds moving in from the north and west. Also, it will be gusty around 25 miles an hour, so a temperature of 53 will feel almost like 43. Then tonight, mostly clear with the wind relaxing. Temperatures will be right around 40, maybe even some upper 20s in the colder suburbs. And for tomorrow, sunny and seasonable. Highs around 60. Then on Sunday, even warmer. Highs around 65. Right now in Central Park, it's 43 and 46 at JFK. I'm meteorologist Scott Derrick, your weather geek. This is traffic and weather on the fives from FM News 101.9. Your next report's at 925. Set a button on your radio for 10 minutes of nonstop news three times an hour. FM News 101.9. Did you know that couples that save together stay together. In these tough economical times, marriages can end up in divorce due to finances. How important is it to save money in your relationship? Well, we have two separate accounts, so I have my own money and he has his own money and when it's time to pay bills, we just put whatever together and that's it. Who saves better, you or the wife? The wife. Who shops more, you or the wife? The wife. Well, she shops and saves what? She shops and saves. <laughs> So how important is saving money in a marriage? You know, it's very important. Very important. You saved up for Christmas shopping already? No, no. But the wife? But the wife is. <laughs> Spouses who place a high value on money are often less responsive to their partner and less focused on the relationship. Sam Silk, FM News. Hey, you want a piece of the Divine Miss M? It's all there. It's all there in this uh, in this sale. When she says it's all there, she means it. And the prize item, the mermaid tail she wore for her mermaid in a wheelchair character during her recent Vegas show. This is my last fish tail and probably the last time I will ever do that character. So for them to have that pink fish tail is a big deal. Bidding on the fish tail starts at 500 bucks. The scripts, the beaches script is in, in this auction. I think for the boys script is in this auction. It's all annotated and everything. Some stuff starts at just $25. The money will go to charity. You can bid online at juliansauctions.com. Jason Nathanson, ABC News, Hollywood. 918. This portion of programming is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% on car insurance. Call GEICO at 1-800-947-AUTO or visit them at geico.com. Chapstick asks, where do lost chapsticks go? Hi, I'm Rick, and I lose my cherry chapstick a lot. The first 26 times I lost it, I found it laid in my back right pocket. And I'm a lefty, but this time, it's gone, man. And my chapstick has always been there for me. Like that one crazy cold winter, chapstick was my best friend. So if you see it, wait, is this it? Do you know where your lost chapstick is? Have your say at facebook.com slash chapstick. And dry new chapstick lip shield 365 with SPF 50 for all season protection. Ultra moisturizing for softer, healthier lips. The Tri-State Area's leader in accounting and financial staffing is Accounting Principles. That just doesn't sound right. Let's try it like this. Accounting Principles and Agilent Finance are joining forces to create one dynamic company. The new Accounting accounting principles. Principles. We help our clients find the right accounting talent while helping our candidates find the right opportunity. Call the new accounting principles in the tri-state area. 1-855-778-7672. That's 1-855-778-7672. Or visit accountingprinciples.com. It's going to happen and you can't stop it. No, I'm not talking about unwanted friend requests on the internet. I'm talking about cold and flu season. So be prepared to fight back. Walmart has low prices every day on everything you need to stay healthy. Like TheraFlu 6 count for $4.97, Mucinex and Lysol disinfectant spray. So stock up now because cold and flu season will be here before you know it. As far as those unwanted friend requests, just tell them you have the flu and you don't want to get germs all over your keyboard. Save money. Live better. Walmart. Use his directly keep out of reach of children. Prices subject to change. 
Right now at Lowe's, get savings you won't believe on our top Whirlpool appliances. Save $1,200 on Whirlpool Gold Stainless Steel 4-Door Refrigerators, now only $1,299. Or clean up with savings of $600 on Whirlpool Cabrio High-Efficiency Top Load Washers and Dryers. Get the pair for $998. Plus, get an additional 5% off every day when you use your Lowe's Consumer Credit Card or any Lowe's Business Credit Account. Lowe's. Never stop improving. Offers valid through 1114. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. FM News 101.9. Traffic and weather every 10 minutes on the fives and 10 minutes of nonstop news now. Good morning. It's Friday, 920. I'm Alice Stockton Rossini. Here's what's happening. The mother of a victim in the Penn State sex scandal goes public. Remembering veterans on this Veterans Day. A man who was in that deadly Brooklyn building collapse talks about what happened. A large number of city schools failing students. X-Factor results coming up in the traffic center. A lot of traffic on 5th Avenue heading downtown into the 50s and 40s. Remember, 5th Avenue is where the big veterans parade is going to be. I'm Jeff McKay with traffic and weather coming up on the fog. A lovely day for our parade. 43 degrees, sunny, headed up to 52. Weather coming up at first. The mother of Jerry Sandusky's first victim speaks out on Good Morning America. She kept her identity a secret. She thought something was up. After she asked her son, after she talked to her son, and he asked her how he can look up sex weirdos, she went straight to Penn State. I went to the school counselors, and, you know, and it was basically, they said, a puberty thing. She asked her son why it took so long to come forward. She said, I didn't know what to do. I just didn't know what to do, and you just can't tell Jerry no. She says she's absolutely horrified that this whole incident has now come out. Pennsylvania Governor Tom Corbett, meanwhile, says he supports the actions by Penn State's trustees to fire Coach Paterno and the university president. We must keep in mind that when it comes to the safety of children, there can be no margin for error, no hesitation to act. Corbett's pleading with students to stay calm and refrain from the violence that Rock State College after Paterno was fired. You want to demonstrate? Great. You want to speak out? Great. Violence is a knucklehead. State College police looking at videos and pictures and expect to arrest possibly dozens of students for wreaking havoc during the protests. Meanwhile, there are reports Joe Paterno has hired a criminal defense lawyer. He has not been charged in the case, but there's speculation he might be. At tomorrow's football game, Paterno won't be the only one not on the field. Assistant football coach Mike McQuarrie will not coach in Saturday's game here because of multiple threats made against him. The university did not disclose the nature of those threats, but said in a statement it's in the best interest of all if McQuarrie doesn't attend. He's the one who told Joe Paterno back in 2002 he saw former assistant coach sodomize a 10-year-old in a locker room shower. Paterno nor McQuarrie informed police, and there are some who are angry McQuarrie is still employed. That's Aaron Katursky reporting. He says at Beaver Stadium tomorrow, the Nittany Lions fans are rallying in support of Jerry Sandusky's victims, known for whiteouts that turn the stadium into a sea of white. Fans are asking everyone to wear blue to support the victims of child abuse around the world. You are listening to 10 minutes of nonstop news. After laying a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier, President Obama is off on a Pacific tour. The trip Consisting of three summits and meetings with leaders of Russia, Australia, and India, the president will be abroad while the Congressional Super Committee struggles to find spending cuts at home. So today's Veterans Day, and in case you don't know, um, federal, state, and city offices and schools, for the most part, are closed today. Bond market closed. Stock and futures markets open. Banks may be open or closed. Uh, they have the option there. Federal Reserve is open. Post office is definitely c- closed. And all services suspended except for express mail delivery, street cleaning, garbage pickup, recycling, collection, also suspended. In sports... <laughs> ever going to see professional basketball this season the standoff goes on and on playoffs players breaking off negotiations with the league saying there's still no deal in thursday night football oakland raiders beat the chargers 24 17 islanders lose to the colorado avalanche 4 3 in overtime it's 9 25 
FM News 101.9, traffic and weather on the 5th, 5th Avenue. A lot of traffic right now coming down from uh, about 49th into 42nd Street, uh, especially into 42nd Street. It's going to be slow. South of that, things will pick up. Remember, you're going to have a shutdown of 5th Avenue. About an hour from now, that's going to start up between 23rd and 56th Street as we're going to have the Veterans Day Parade marching up 5th Avenue starting at 23rd Street. And that starts at 11 o'clock. Right now, across the Hudson River, everything all right at the GW Bridge and the Holland Tunnel. Lincoln Tunnel, 20 minutes going into New York, about 10 to 15 minutes coming out. Stalled cars, what did us in. And across the East River, up and down the line, much better than normal ride at all of the bridges and tunnels. Staten Island Expressway, clear end-to-end -end in New Jersey. No delays to report on the Turnpike. Garden State Parkway, a little bit sluggish each way near exit 145. In this report, service of your New York, New Jersey Subaru dealers. Alternate side parking suspended today. You will need to feed those meters. Jeff McKay, FM News 101.9. Traffic on the 5. FM News 101.9. Weather on the 5. Today will feature sunshine and clouds, but it will be windy. The wind's gusting over 25 miles an hour, so if you're holding on to an American flag, hold on tightly. Temperatures that will be into the lower 50s will feel more like the lower 40s. Tonight, it will be mostly clear with the wind relaxing, with lows around the upper 30s. And for tomorrow, sunny yet seasonable. Temperatures make a run towards 60 degrees. That does not warm enough for you. How about Sunday? Up to 65. Then back to work and school on Monday. Partly sunny in the morning. Rain showers in the afternoon. Temperatures still remaining in the middle 60s. It's not until Tuesday when the showers get out of here. We have clearing in the afternoon with temperatures dry. Dropping back into the 50s. Right now it's 43 in Central Park, 44 in Rawway. I'm meteorologist Scott Derrick, your weather geek. This is traffic and weather on the fives from FM News 101.9. Your next report's at 935. Good Friday morning. It is 926. Ten minutes of nonstop news continues now on FM News 101.9. A man injured in a deadly Brooklyn building collapse this week is speaking out about the frightening experience. Alexander Kush was using a buffer to smooth out fresh concrete when he was suddenly trapped in the rubble of an unfinished condo complex in Brighton Beach. He says it was his two small children that made him start digging himself out. He also adds the building was all metal, so he believes it should have held up. City workers say it may have collapsed because concrete was poured on top of floors before the lower ones were fortified. More than a third of the city's public schools are failing their students, but it's not the students' fault. According to a new state standard that pushes schools to help children achieve more, this week 350 more schools got a failing grade. Are there any schools without a failing grade? Are there any schools left? The total number of failing schools now up to almost 650. Much of the increase from a higher bar for graduation rates and performance on state exams. Life in prison for the ringleader in a group of soldiers who killed Afghans for sport. Prosecutors say Staff Sergeant Calvin Gibbs tried to make it look like the three villagers in the Kandahar province were Taliban attackers and then took body parts as war trophies. The military jury was also told that Gibbs sported six skull tattoos, which represented kills he made. Five soldiers were accused of the murder. Seven others faced lesser charges for trying to intimidate soldiers to keep them from talking and for using illegal drugs. Gibbs will be eligible for parole. Ryan Harris, ABC News, Seattle. Bail has been set at $25,000. Sloppy, slipshod practices force the closing of the Nassau Crime Lab. Well, now taxpayers have to spend hundreds of thousands to retest evidence in felony drug cases. Nassau judge, ha, judges have thrown out convictions in a couple of cases saying they were bungled drug testing from the lab. An investigation finds managers were not qualified. Police in the county failed to recognize and confront the problems. Mark Gann, who was president of the Nassau County Bar Association when the lab scandal broke last winter, calls the lab dysfunctional, the conduct negligent, if not reckless. He says nobody was held accountable. Okay, so how to fix the CBS early show. Hmm. Okay, how about bring in Charlie Rose and Oprah's BFF, Gail King. Is Gail King known for anything other than being Oprah's best friend? I'm, I'm, let me, I'm racking my brain on that one. Well, anyway, you bring them in and maybe they'll boost the ratings. The morning show needs a makeover. And rumor is the two-hour news show is going to nix some of the sap and focus on hard news in a more conversational manner. Kind of like The View, Morning Joe. They hope to raise, they hope that a Rose and King can bring in those viewers. The two expected to start early next year. They're going to join the hosts, uh, Erica Hill and Jeff Glor. FM News Time, 929. Imagine winning millions from a freebie. Right
Right now, buy two pick six tickets and get one free. Look for your coupon in Sunday's paper or on Facebook. The New Jersey Lottery. Give your dreams a chance. The Home Depot has a new lower price on top-rated Bear Premium Plus interior paint. One gallon cans now start at just $19.99.